division that has taken taken the reins from the tag division has been the women's division. And yeah. it's because there are undeniable stars yep. in this division, guys. I, I, you know, I'm so happy True. to see what's happening right now. Even though I'm a tag team slappy, I love seeing talents like this get get featured. I, I know it's controversial because the tag division has so many vets in it. Right. Um, but the women's division, when you have a, a, a young star, an undeniable star like Jade, it's awesome to see her just get this spotlight in, on Rampage where it feels like I, – I've, I mean, we've talked about this countless times. Yep. It feels like Rampage is the Jade Cargill show. And, and right. I said it. I'm sure Mark Sterling has sent the memo to everybody on the roster. This is Jade's show. But Thunder Move Rosa, on. Thunder Rosa, the dog in that, the the fight in that dog, uh, Thunder is not gonna get beaten down with like twelve chair shots, and then just walk away and say, "Yeah, no problem. See you later. Uh, I'll move on to the next one." Thunder is the type of personality where if you knock her down, she's gonna get back up and get right back in your face. And for sure, you know, this is this feud SPD. I wanted this feud. It was controversial when I said it, um, but it's so awesome to see AEW lean into a, another crayfish SPD booking decision. Yeah. Lean into this one between Jade and Thunder because Thunder truly is a, a coach in the ring. Right. Someone who is the quite honestly, one of the most natural baby faces in pro wrestling, you put her up against Jade, it's already showing. Jade's coming out looking like a million bucks in this one, dude. Versus, you know, Scott, we saw Sky Blue. I know you're a fan of what you saw in Chicago. Mm -hmm. All around, I thought this segment was kind of one of the better ones of the night. I mean, I know that, like, it, it, this is an example of why Rampage is so awesome. It's a It's a tight show. And it felt like every segment hit. Uh, obviously, I, don't know. I this was, was a little, little bit more of a so squash. I was a little disappointed how they did Sky Blue dirty like that. You know, obviously Jade is a beast and a star. And she beat, she beat Thunder, bro. She beat your hero. Well, you get she gonna beat Thunder? Okay, not a one on one match. Come on, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, but I think that after seeing what we saw out of sky and in, in Chicago and winning the fans over and winning that opportunity and earning that opportunity in the battle Royal. And then, you know, consistently being booked on dark and elevation. And now on rampage, um, I was hoping for a little bit more back and forth. Obviously I wasn't, you know, the almost no offense from sky. I, I don't, I don't support that part. You know, even Miro who is, you know, the redeemer, God's greatest gift, was letting Fuego get offense in, and he is a, a beast, you know. And so I think at least get a little back and forth so you can grow the division. So, but on a, all in all, it for the visual of her standing over Jade standing over tall again, and then Thunder coming out to avenge that. Love um, that. I think we're in for a treat for sure when when that ultimate one on one match happens. When it when it happens, I mean, I feel like it's too. It'd be hard to stretch out far enough for the TBS championship, but it would be fun for them to meet oh, in the finals be as awesome. seen in the chat. Oh. Um, but I think the person that's going to benefit the most from that feud is obviously Jade, you know, getting, getting that rub of experience, getting that rub of comfort level and someone kind of being the ring general um, and, and going the distance with someone, you know, her, her hardest test to date would be thunder. So um, that's, that's where I take on it. I don't think it was one of the better segments of the night, but I, I told a great story and it's giving us a lot more that we want. It's giving us more questions and, and more excitement in, in that kind of feud. So um, when, when it goes toe to toe, it could be leading up to a pay-per-view match. Um, and whoever it is, I think no better person to give Jade her first loss than Thunder. Well, yeah, I agree with you on that point. I think, you know, Thunder has that, um, that respect and the landscape of pro wrestling, where if, if Jade takes an L from her, it's not like a, this devastating thing. Um, you know, the reason why I'll counter you on this is, you know, Jade is being built 
as a wrecking, like, oh, like absolute wrecking ball on this as roster. They need, they need and, someone and, like and that. And so I get it. Um, you want to see, you know, because there's that sentimental, you, you, we were in all out when sky blue kind of got over and got, you had that, that genuine moment, but dude, you gotta, you gotta put it in perspective. Um, just having that opportunity against Jade was a sure. big opportunity for her. Agree. And you know, this wasn't in Chicago, so you need to like, you got to recognize like, all right, like the whole, the reason why I love this segment was because it ended on such a high note. And right. It's not always about like the match. It's about what we leave. We leave that segment feeling as a viewer. And for me, that that gave me hope as the, this feud could be really great uh, between Jade and Thunder. I believe in this feud, and you and I have had a lot of deep conversations about the AW product. I believe in this feud. You said that you think that Jade is going to be a clear beneficiary of Thunder versus Jade, and I agree. And this is why. Crayfish, as if I was part of the AW booking team, which would be a dream come true. Um, never say never. If that was like, that's why this was one of my top ideas because I do feel like the biggest criticism of Jade is that she's green. And okay, like we all start out green somewhere. You know, we mm -hmm. all have that. But to, to use that as a ceiling on her star power feels very short-sighted it feels very like leaning into the the negative rather than leaning into the positive and i think right. that if you you say okay yeah she is green but we know that she can draw how do we make her look great and how do we help accelerate her learning curve how do we help accelerate her growth okay well you pair her up with veterans that you know will help make her not only look good in the ring but learn every time that she's in the ring with them and that's why i would be like you know serena d beating sheeta serena deeb is now kind of like quickly emerged as grabs everybody by you know by the throat and says hey remember i'm a top player here too thunder rosa is a, a perfect foe for jade because of that reason, she's a coach in the ring. But I also yeah. think that I also think that Thunder is going to come out looking better in this feud too. And the reason why is something that you've talked about a lot. Mm -hmm. There are very few women in the division who could take Thunder Rosa's offense in a way that they need to. If you know okay. what I mean, like Thunder's offense, brutal offense. Thunder's offense is brutal, man. I mean, it Thunder is. Thunder's kicks, her knees. Double her stomps. Offense, her stomps. She doesn't play, man. And you yeah. know, there are there are and like going against Jade. Thunder's gonna bring it against Jade, and Jade's big enough and strong enough to take those moves. And I think that it's gonna make ma the matches with these two in the ring together look amazing, because you're gonna say, "Damn, how is Jade taking that? You know, how is she taking that offense?" Right. And then you're going to see Thunder get absolutely booted in the face by Jade. And she's going to get back up and keep fighting. And you're going to say, how is Thunder keep coming back? The story is going to work beautifully. And I, I truly, I'm all in, man. I, I, and that's yeah. why I love where this is going. Um, and I think that this should be the, the number one contender. Whoever emerges sure. out of this needs to be the number one contender for Brit. Um I don't know, man. I, I, I really am a believer in where this is. This can, this can, what this can give us, and it, and it also touches on. You have been for a while. What you said, and I couldn't agree with you more. They need to build more big stars in the women's division. It can't just be the D. And and again, Britt, bless her heart, kills it right. every time she's out there, but. The more you make Jade feel like a big deal, the more you make Thunder feel like a big deal, the more you make Serena Deeb or Sheeta or who pick mm -hmm. your pick your poison, the more you build these stars up through through iron sharpening iron, the more we're gonna benefit long term. I'm in, man. I, I think this one's got major juice to it. This this feud can really go.